Welcome to Mobile Meals. I am Steve Duval from Thor Motor Coach. And I'm Tracy Duval from Thor Motor Coach. Husband and wife in the kitchen. Now this recipe is one, and I'm gonna be honest, you made this, the first time you made this, you said, you gotta try this. I said, there's no way I'm gonna yeah, eat he this. He didn't think it, he was gonna be a fan. It and sounded it's nasty. Awesome. And so what we are calling this, and it was kind of from what our oldest daughter, Delaney, calls it, Hey, can you make that really good cabbage stuff you make? <laughs> That's what we're calling it. That really good cabbage stuff you make. Yeah, so this is kind it's of healthy. A, it is. Okay? And you... that's something, especially with kids, it's mm -hmm. hard to get them on board. Mm -hmm. And at least one of our kids likes it. So we're going to call that a victory. And it's got an Asian flair to it, it does, which she really which loves it's Chinese easy food. To in make. Fact, I'll tell the story real quick. Tracy okay. never ate Chinese food. Ever. ever and then when she was pregnant with our oldest we were shopping one day and you said i said i don't know why but i'm just having this craving for chinese and so i said let's drop the stuff we put it on hold and we went and yeah, ate. he the... literally was standing there and he he has turned to a clerk and said would you please hold this we will be right back we're going to get some chinese and we were there within yeah. 20 minutes so, so we have a, a sauce that goes with it and we have it mixed up all the ingredients are going to be at the end of the segment so go ahead and pour some olive oil in that okay. roasting pan that uh, pan if you would please and we will brown our ground beef I like a lot of oil. That's a nonstick pan. I think you're good. All right. I think I'm good too. We have, there we go. Let's see if I can hit the garbage can. All right, so we'll just chop this up and we'll let this brown. We have our other ingredients prepared and one thing that you can do is you can even buy the cabbage already chopped up. We don't, we tend to chop it up ourselves. Yes. But you can buy that in a bag just the way it is. Oh, and on this sauce that goes in at the end, I like to double it. Yeah. I just like a lot of like sauce. Lot it's of really sauce. good. All right, want to throw some garlic in here? We're getting, this is going fast. We like a lot of garlic, so just scoop into as much as you like. That's good. And this is one of those that goes together really fast. The leftovers are great because everything kind of soaks in that it sauce. It is. It's one of those recipes where the leftovers that have, you know, just kind of soaked it all in, they've marinated all day. It's almost better on day two. All right, beef is done. Yes, we are going to set that aside in another bowl. And we're gonna take that cabbage and the green onions and put them in the pan and saute them up a little bit. They get a little wilty, and that's what you're looking for. And if you use a really fatty beef, you're gonna to have to drain that because you don't want all that fat in that pan. But this goes pretty fast. It's also a good one in terms of not needing a lot of ingredients. No, one pan, one pan, which is... So, you know, you're traveling, you don't wanna have a ton um, of groceries and spices and that kind of thing. So literally what you see here um, is what we put into it in the mm. Then it gets wilty. And while this gets wilty, let's head over to O'Rourke's across the street from the University of Notre Dame. And Kelsey is gonna show us how to whip up a classic cocktail. Hi there, my name is Kelsey. Today we're gonna be making a Moscow Mule. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a pint glass, start with an ounce and a quarter of your favorite vodka, Pour it into the pint glass there for you. We're gonna add some fresh lime juice, your favorite bitters, and then you're gonna put some ice in the cup here for you. Grab your martini shaker, you're gonna put it in there, slam the top of it to make sure that it's sealed. You're gonna shake it a couple times to get it nice and frothy. Hit the side of it to release it. And then you're gonna add some fresh ice to your copper mug here. Put a strainer on your martini and then strain it into your mug. Okay. Top it off with your favorite ginger beer. And a fresh squeeze of lime. And there you go, you have your favorite copper mug mule. Thank you, Kelsey. So it's time to add the sauce. And we always double this because it's really good. 
like that. Ooh, sizzling away. And then once you have that mixed through. You know what comes next. Add the meat. There you go. Mix that up. And again, I know you're thinking cabbage and hamburger, really? Yeah, you're thinking it doesn't sound good. It's good. It I was good. on the same page as you as there's no way I'm eating that. He gave that. me the look. I did. It was the look, and I ended up eating, I think, cereal. <laughs> and it's just, you have to try this. Okay. And he's made it several times since. In fact, it is requested, which is why it's called. Hey, Dad, can you make that really good cabbage stuff that you make? <laughs> so we don't really have an official name for it. It's just, that's what we call it at our house. Unless you're our youngest. You're making that again? That's what she calls it. And I think we are good. I think so too. And look at that. Ta-da! Let it cool down. And away you go. And the nice thing is because it's a green in there, it's like eating a salad. A burger salad. An Asian burger, burger salad, salad with there the bun. There you go. That, I, I guess. That is kind of I don't know. Tastes like. I don't know. It's just good. <laughs> and you should have it. And the recipe is mm. right at the end of the segment. We are going to let this cool down. Then we're going to dig in. Yes. All right. So we will see you next Thanks time. Thanks for being here. On Mobile Meals.